Hello there my purple banditos and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Glaze. I'm Purple Rodri. Earlier today we took down the first of Johto's Elite Four members, Ivan and his purple Pokemon. In today's episode we're going to go ahead and take on Whitney and what looks like this room is pink so we're going to be taking on her pink Pokemon. Now our Pokemon did take quite a whooping last time so I'm going to go ahead and heal them up. While we go ahead and do that make sure you guys give this video a like. It really does help the series and I really do appreciate it. So we did take a pretty difficult you know beating last time the battles i gotta tell you guys are going to be much tougher than i expected i told you guys last time how everybody was close to level 77 so everybody's still around that level i haven't trained up our pokemon i can't train them up in here so they're all just gonna stay around that level as we progress through here so we are going to have a bit of a tougher time this time going up against whitney because her pokemon are going to be a little bit higher level and if you guys know whitney or know of Whitney you guys know what type of Pokemon she trains and there's a couple difficult ones so let's go ahead and talk to her and see what she has to say hi Roger it is way awesome that you beat Ivan I knew you could do it and now we get to battle let's do it here we go Roger versus Whitney so let's go ahead and take on elite Four Whitney and her pink Pokemon she has all oh, okay this is gonna be awesome she's gonna open up with a Clefable level 76 so immediately from the start this battle is going to go ahead and uh, just you know just kind of jump right into it just be one of those difficult battles you never know the Clefable wow that actually did a lot of damage if we could take down the clefable here i would be really cool with that because i do expect the rest of her pokemon to be a little bit difficult to take down as yep here we go you guys can see that clefable has leftovers and i expect that it's the leftovers and all the status impairments and all those sorts of things that are gonna make this battle really really difficult on us so we're just gonna have to hope that we can pretty much just overpower all of Whitney's Pokemon and just do way more damage than they're actually healing. So that's going to be pretty much the point behind all of this. And let's hope that we can pull through and then hopefully make our way to the next Elite Four's room. All right, let's go ahead and go for this flamethrower, though. Oh, mother fudger. Are you serious? All right, so her paralysis actually did do something to us. You know, this is what's always fun about the Elite Four, not knowing what the heck they are going to do. The difference between Ivan and Whitney, you can already just see it. it. You can just tell the strategies behind these people are just so much more different. You know, basically, Whitney just wants to just turn us into, you know, it just whittle us down and just kind of just hope that we got to just end up kind of knocking ourselves out of the battle. But, it, you know, we're, we're just not about that. So we're just sitting here trying to knock a Pokemon out. We're going to have to see how the rest of her team does, though. She does have four Pokemon left, and there is the Miltank. So level 78 Miltank coming out, guys. Now, we know that this is Whitney's ace. This is Whitney's strongest Pokemon, and it's been her strongest Pokemon for a very long time. So let's just hope that we don't begin getting rolled out on because that could prove to be a little bit difficult especially if this pokemon really gets going with the rollouts about the third or fourth rollout is when it'll really begin to crush us so let's just hope that we can knock out this milk tank before it gets that far what is a milk drink i've never even heard of that is that a move what the heck i guess milk tank has a milk drink move that's actually really, really cool. The fact that a little milk bottle pops up and everything, I got to give that to him. All right, so I'm just going to go for the surf. We're going to try to take down the milk tank. Just a little simple strategy behind this because I know how scary this rollout milk tank can be, guys. And I've, I've already got to tell you, I've learned a lot already just from what you guys have been telling me about the Elite Four. And they are definitely going to be a lot more difficult than I expect them to be. All right, come on. Come on, Chompy. Let's go ahead and take out this mill tank. And there we have it, guys. So mill tank is down. That was probably my main concern going against Whitney. And this was another one of those. Here comes Blissey. Now, these are the healing Pokemon. And I got to tell you, those Pokemon that heal and that are just super tanky, that are just like super bulky, are also super annoying in a way because they're really, really hard to take down. Even if you do have super strong, you know, offensive Pokemon. But I got to tell you guys, the Blissey with the special defense being raised up is going to be a super difficult Pokemon to take down. So I'm just going to try the best here and let's hope that we can take down these pokemon now i did actually expect whitney to have a bunch of tanky pokemon 
So it's something that we have to be prepared for. You know, another thing that I've been thinking about, guys, is Pokemon Go, and we just got crit. And I told you guys, crit, crits were going to come back to us. I've been thinking a lot about Pokemon Go and how cool it would be to actually get to travel around the world and explore and get to find Pokemon. I was telling you guys just a little bit ago how you can pretty much control Pokemon now in Pokemon Tournament. So it's not like it's something that's out of this reality. But the fact that we are actually going to be able to run around our world very soon and catch Pokemon, I gotta tell you guys, that is something that's really, really cool. And we're almost getting to the point where all these little video game stories and video game characters and Pokemon and monsters and all these sorts of things are getting to the point where they're becoming real. And it's just something that you really gotta think about. So I was thinking about Pokemon Go and if I'm gonna get the chance to play through it and everything. And I definitely am gonna go ahead out and just go out there and adventure and just catch Pokemon because I think that would be really cool. Imagine if you could just explore a mountain and you found a Pokemon that nobody really had. That would just be so much fun. The fact that you could just go outside and still be playing through a Pokemon game. So I thought it would be something that would be really fun. Now this guys, this is taking way longer than I thought, so it's going to take a while to weaken this Blissey down. So I'm just going to come back once we've actually done it, so hopefully that'll be sooner rather than later. But you won't know with how this Blissey is doing so far, so we'll see. Alright, so there we have it guys, the Blissey went down. It took a while, I gotta tell you guys, a lot of healing up. These Pokemon are just so tanky that it's not even that they're difficult to beat. They're just, they're time consuming. There's those, there's those types of Pokemon that just take a really long time to take down. And that's pretty much what Whitney has been throwing at us. I was almost hoping that her mill tank was just gonna go off and just like go nuts on us but i guess we were able to counter that way easier than all her tanky huge pokemon which are the ones that are actually proving to be a little bit more difficult all right let's go ahead and take down this togekiss though it's always cool when we get to see a little togekiss i think there's such cool pokemon to see i would love to just like look out my window and see a togekiss flying around if i was in the pokemon world i think that would be like one of the coolest things just imagine how cool it would be to wake up to, to just look out your window and just to see a bunch of Pokemon just flying around, running around. It'd be like waking up in one of those African safaris where you can just like wake up and just look outside of the hotel and you just have like giraffes and a bunch of animals hanging around there. That would be so cool. It must be so awesome to live in the Pokemon world. Hopefully we'll eventually reach the point where we're actually in the Pokemon world. I'm really hoping for that. Let's hope that they'll be able to create Pokemon very soon. And that would be honestly really, really awesome. I think that would be really cool. Or even cooler if we could just put on, you know, a little headset and be put, put thrown into the Pokemon world. I think eventually we will have the chance for that. So it'll be really cool to see that. Hopefully this Volt Tackle will take down the Togekiss though. And there we have it guys. Super effective. So Togekiss is going to go down. We'll have to see what the next Pokemon is. Hopefully, oh my mother fudger. Okay, so this is a Pokemon I haven't seen in a long time. Last but not least, it's going to be a Licky Licky. Oh, boy. And I'm going to go ahead and take a quick guess that this is going to be another one of those super annoying tanky Pokemon. So we're going to have an absolute blast taking down this Licky Licky. Let's see what we can do. You know, I always see some of these Pokemon that... I completely forget about. They're just some of those forgettable Pokemon, like Licky Licky. And it's funny to see this Pokemon here. When did you guys ever expect to see a Licky Licky in the Elite Four? It's so funny. All right, this guy's going to be healing up quite a bit again, as I said. So we'll be back once we can defeat him. Okay, guys, so I think I'm about as close as it's going to get. Luckily, RSP was able to paralyze this guy and mother fudger whitney went ahead and whooped out another full restore so licky licky is super annoying all this guy does is sit here and get healed that's all he does he's literally a big blob that just likes to get healed with that though we had a crit so i'll take that you know we've gotten critted a good amount this time so hopefully we'll be able to finish this guy off i know we're very close so i'm just gonna go ahead and go for another flamethrower there we go zuko jr Let's hope that this will get close, if not take down the Licky Licky. Oh my goodness, it is burned though. So the Licky Licky should... Oh, the wish worked? Wait, what the fudge? Okay, good, it's hurt by the poison? No, wait, that's us? 
That's us? Well, we're, we're alive. We're okay. We're okay. Uh, let's see if we'll be able to take down this Licky Licky, though. That's what I'm waiting to find out. And there we go. It's hurt by its burn. And with that, guys, Licky Licky has gone down. Super annoying Pokemon to take on. We defeated Elite Four Whitney. Wait, I lost! We got 7,800 for winning. And with that, guys, we have done it. It's just a loss. Whitney, just a loss. I'm sorry. I get sad whenever I lose. Huh, just go on to the next room. It is way boring waiting for challenges. I mean, look around. I'm in this playing room all the time, but at least it's pink. Are you familiar with my reputation, hon? People hate to battle me. I just use rollout and shoot. They run like dogs. That's funny because we are aware of the reputation. We do remember this Pokemon from back in the day. Next time, guys, we'll continue from here and make our way into the third Elite Four's room. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and some comments on what's coming up. That's two Elite Four members down. Two more to go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.